with your hosts, Nico and Ellen DeHaan. Now, Nico and Ellen DeHaan. Good morning, I'm Nico DeHaan, and welcome to Living a Primal Lifestyle, where we explore a return to a more balanced and natural wild world. To recover our natural health and regain our rights and freedoms. Good morning, I'm Ellen DeHaan. Yes, beautiful morning in downtown St. Petersburg. It's 48 degrees, feels like 43, and the wind is out of the northwest at 18. It's pretty yeah, cold by uh, our standards. Yeah, my hairdo today. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, the number here is 877-927-6648. like to remind you a couple of things. First of all, our Primal Edge, over 310 organic cell-ready liquid ingredients, so it's easy to take. This gets the good stuff in. And lets all the bad stuff out. Really important folks $89 a month gets you uh, a lot uh, a lease on health I would say yeah delivered to your door uh, that's right and it's a uh, health signals newsletter it's $10 a month you get two copies on the first and the 15th and this covers all the articles that we talk about on the show and actually I got some bonus material in there uh, I put some recipes in there and also some uh, exercises so oh, very good cool. mm -hmm. uh, yeah today I you know the other day uh, you mentioned to me you were on uh, you had a lawyers convention was conference. It? conference national yes. conference yeah. and usually of course you go there right and this time you went and you sat in front of the tube and uh, well the zoom call it was a zoom call yeah it was a zoom call so mm -hmm. but you did state that afterwards it was it was almost more tiring mm -hmm. being at home and looking at the tube it was harder then, to focus i noticed and because there were so many distractions you had to Kind of pay attention, and there was a screenshot of the uh, the, uh, the slideshow, and the speakers were shown, and then there you could see the Zoom pe people in the call. Mm -hmm. and you had to really look at the screen and pay attention. Yeah, and, the and screen I think is one problem too. That adds more stress to it. But the other thing that what's really missing is all the camaraderie. Uh, you're moving from place to place during the conference. You're seeing other people, lively conversations. Where now all of a sudden you're in front of the TV and you're just paying attention, pretty much. Yeah, it was interesting too because I did a conference in October, which was a virtual conference, not a Zoom conference, mm -hmm. which meant that none of us could see each other. This particular conference, everybody could see each other, and there was a lot of interactive conversation, and you could see the people's faces. Could you text back and, and forth? And you could too? chat mm -hmm. in the Zoom, and, and it was really, I found it much more stimulating and satisfying. Oh, good. Because I could see the folks that I usually see in person. Mm -hmm. you know, so it, it went very well. Yeah, so I thought it'd be a good time. I saw this article, this devastating side effect from working remotely, nobody is really talking about. And uh, this. And what is that devastating side effect? Well, uh, you know, we, we've done this so we don't spread the diseases naturally, and now we're at home, and you've been kind of used to it because a year and a half before you had already started, so you've mm -hmm. got your routines down. I think mm -hmm. it's a little less stressful for you, but somebody who has just kind of started into this, maybe a year now, <laughs> it's not that much. But in November, researchers found that Americans are spending an average of six days, six hours, six hours per day sitting. Four more hours than previously. Yeah, because if March. you were in an office, you know, you're sitting and then you get up, you go and get water, you get coffee, you go to the restroom, you know, you go ask a colleague a question. You never, you never sit for an hour, two hours, three hours at a time. And that's the real difference. <clears throat> yeah, and and, if, and the picture really says it all, because the posture <laughs> of that person. Yeah. I mean, even if you're not, if you're sitting with a laptop. The risk is people are lying down with their laptops on their chests, and so their necks are cranked, and they're, uh, you know, typing that way, or and that cuts off your air and your circulation mm -hmm. and so on, and then, or you're hunched over, and even if you're not that hunched over, you're still sitting at a, some kind of a surface and kind of looking down at your laptop, and it cuts off your whole chest and thoracic area where sure. you're breathing not and healthy at all and circulating and they're saying now that they're finding a lot of uh of heart condition 
complications from just from sitting. Somewhere. And also on some Zoom calls, you've mentioned <laughs> that people are picking their teeth and blowing oh, their nose oh, and geez. doing all kinds of things. Where in the in the normal world before COVID, we had our little routine that we did at home to get ready to go to the office. So we were already, you know, on that whole thing of being very active. You know, getting getting up in the morning and getting everything done. That's an activity, <laughs> I think. Yeah. And that Plus activity it stimulates your brain. Exactly. So I think that's missing too. So there's a lot of things on this. Uh, the picture, like you said, shows it all. Him hunched over like that, and uh, the posture is bad. You can't breathe properly. And and he wouldn't be wearing a suit, a tie, and a white shirt. <laughs> yeah. And dress pants. <laughs> so of course they've had studies for this, and the study focused on two groups of workers: postal workers and office workers. A combined 111 people wore activity monitors for a week and researchers wanted to see what their waist circumference and their health uh, heart health differed and they found that the people who held desk jobs had bigger waist circumference compared to the postal workers that's an interesting thing uh, well I would that make sense I mean if I'm sitting still and doing nothing for hours on end versus a postal worker who is climbing in and out of the truck walking over to the house coming back walking down the street whatever it is yeah. Uh, that makes more sense. But they also talked about the, uh, the cardiovascular disease, that desk workers had a higher risk, 2.2% versus 1.6% of the for the uh, postal workers over a 10-year period. Yeah, longer time spent in sedentary posture is significantly associated with larger waist circumference, higher triglycerides, that's the fat in the blood, lower HDL, which is the good uh, cholesterol, and all added up to worse uh, heart disease. Yeah, or, yeah. So. And now they are saying that zero fact, levels associated with zero factors were walking more than 15,000 steps a day. I mean, I don't know on, a, on any day, even if I'm walking on the treadmill for an hour, I'm not walking thousands of steps, you know. Well, sure you are. I think oh, you are. Okay. Yeah, well, I definitely think you are. have to look into that. That's an yeah. interesting thing. Well, you put the Peter meter on, I guess. <laughs> I don't think mm -hmm. we have one. But yeah, the thing is, of course, that sitting... Uh, has been a problem before the COVID and now it's just on top of it. So you can see how this is compounding people. So what you, what you have to do is really come up with some solutions for this. Uh, and we're going to discuss some of those. But, you know, one of the thing, of course, that you do is uh, take a break and walk on a treadmill or go outside and walk or just go out. Well, even and, if I just get up, walk around the house a little bit, make myself a cup of coffee right. or or, you know, take a bio break or whatever, I try and force myself to do it a, a minute, you know, less than an hour mm -hmm. of time goes by. <clears throat> I also try and, I have a very good desk chair, and I try and for, remind myself to sit up straight and sit back in the chair and to have my hands relaxed when I'm typing. Mm -hmm. And so that all of those things are for self-preservation, realistically, because you can't, uh, if, if you don't, you end up with, and, and also keep my feet flat on the floor, slightly elevated, things that you don't think about, but if you're crossing your ankles... To tighten your stomach when you're sitting down? <clears throat> yeah, there's so many things you can do, and, uh, yeah. and look out the window, sit back, put your feet up for a minute. Yeah. And so it's a good idea to really put a, maybe a little timer on things. Uh, yeah, if you can't <clears throat> you know, think of it on your own. Yeah, exactly. So when we come back, we'll discuss a little bit more of this, and uh, yeah, stick around, folks. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement to complement your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. 
TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. And before the break, we were talking about the hidden dangers of being of the sedentary lifestyle and, and being working from home and working on your computer all day or your laptop. Especially since it's forced on us, in a sense. Well, it is, yeah, you don't have a choice. You right. can't go to the office. You have to get your work done, whatever. That's exactly right. And, and so we were talking about ways of, of relaxing or ways of breaking the cycle or ways of uh, taking breaks and reminding yourself and so on. And then and this article talks about the obvious uh, solution of playing music while you're <laughs> yeah. while you're working. Playing music uh, yourself, or just having the radio on. And I notice when I walk in, a lot of times you have some of the '60s going or the '80s going. Or... Well, I have Sirius XM on mm -hmm. my iPad, and I have Alexa, and I have the I have an old iPod that has oh, lots of music on it. So I have options for playing everything from. 60s, 70s, 80s, whatever, to um, soothing, relaxing, meditation kind of music. It, it just depends. I mean, and they talk about it in this article about, you know, you probably don't want to put on something like heavy metal or rap <laughs> because it's distracting. Well, especially our generation. We're not used to that. Well, we're it's not going to do yeah. it. But, but I'm just, there's a lot of people, you know, out sure. there. That, and uh, <clears throat> you... Uh, it's distracting. So you want music that kind of is there soothing you in some way. And that could be like for me, it's the 60s music because that's the 60s, early 70s. You know, that's the music that I really enjoy. And well, that's what we grew up. We there. grew up yeah, with. And, yeah. and it's uh, so for me, having that in the background is soothing. Yeah. And sometimes I'll sing along, and most of the time I'm kind of focusing, and I miss the song. And sometimes I go back and... Well, music is really magical, because a lot of times you hear a song, and you can almost have that same smell that was around when you were, you know, playing that song when you were a kid, perhaps. <laughs> uh, I have a lot of fond memories from music from the Beatles, you know, of course. Then I was just entering college uh, when they came out, and that revolutionized my whole thinking of music. I That said, I want to do this too, uh -huh. and I can do this. And that's when my buddies and I got together and started playing guitar and things like that. But there's also other things, like my dad used to be singing in the morning all the time. He was a big fan of music. So he would be singing the traditional songs of Holland or some of the opera stuff. He'd just be humming, and you'd go through the house, la, 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 you hear my <laughs> Nico singing, you know. So <laughs> they, my mother would go, oh, Nico, you know. But uh, <laughs> it was always something really warm, the 
feeling for me to hear. And I see I music can, in the background. Yeah, well, to hear uh -huh. him especially. Yeah, sure. But then all these other songs that we grew up with, or and some of the new music I love too. Some of it I don't like at all. But right. that's I think that's well, generational. That's true anyway. It was true no matter where, what the music was. And, yeah. But uh, I think the point is that there are that using music as a tool to help you focus and help you relax is a, is a recommended way of reducing stress. It's a low-cost benefit, too. I mean, right? it doesn't cost you much mm -hmm. to have some mm -hmm. music in a house. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and this article really talks about how that music intervention, uh, like music activities like singing or music making, uh, is a therapy. Uh -huh. And there are pro professional people that use this uh, yeah. in therapy, too. Well, and we, we've talked in past shows about reaching people who have dementia mm -hmm. or uh, Alzheimer's and through music and having them recognize a tune and, yeah. and, and have, you know, a connection, a cognitive connection. And also, I, I think back to our ancestors, of course, the American Indians had the drum beating and the smoke going, and I'm sure every indigenous uh, uh, family or uh, tribe had some special music because they're very important when the sun goes down, those activities start. Well, this is an activity also that brings people together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then... Uh, and and music was for ceremonial purposes, it was for motivational purposes, it was for celebration. Spiritually, you go to church, right? you sing. Yeah, yeah that's, exactly. That's the beautiful part about the church, I feel, is the singing and the camaraderie about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, the sharing. The sharing. Yeah. So right. it's important to find music that will inspire you and not distract you. So something like uh, uh, a, a different type of uh, rock and roll might be suitable for one person where mm -hmm. it might not be suitable for somebody else. Well, yeah, so. everybody has to find what works for them. Yeah. And the other thing is there's so much live music now on YouTube. Yes. Either it's, you know, famous musicians who are playing from home and, you know, putting together a piece. or Exactly. It's, or it's a lot of really up and coming people who are talented and, and fun to listen to and doing covers of other people's music or doing and now starting to throw in some of their own. Yeah, and I see some of the musicians I like that I'm watching now are doing a little teaching sessions and hey, here's how I play this song. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's really cool because I can uh, yeah. go there and learn the song if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. and now, the next article we have, uh, let's see here, is stressed out here are 10 scientific back design tips for your home and this brought to me you know a couple was of a month ago we started cleaning out that one uh, we always have this one room in our house where we really you know if you I don't know where to put this boom I'm gonna put it in there and you know over the years things add up and you're walking around things and someday I'm gonna clean this thing and the uh, couple of weeks ago we decided uh, we're gonna clean that and it really made us feel a lot better though it took kinda of took the pressure off us because we've been talking about doing this for quite a while well the whole psychological impact of walking into a neat and clean room that where things are put away and there's actually surface spaces you know, and things are organized a little bit better. You oh, can find yeah. things instead of rummaging right. around. Yeah, it, it, it really yeah. made a big difference, and, and it made me feel a lot better about the house. And Yeah, so given what some people are calling anxiety epidemic, with nearly one-fifth of the people uh, of Americans reporting one stress. One-fifth. That's 20% of Americans are actually reporting a stress-related disorder. How many are not discussing exactly. it, internalizing it, or taking it out on those around them. Yeah, so we want to be help healthier, we want to be happier, and we don't want to suffer from stress. So here are some of the things you can do right in your home. Uh -huh. Yeah, get get the light right. That that was interesting because when I work, uh, you you had suggested I work in the Florida room. Yeah, because you know, the it's sun nice. room. Right. As we have French doors along the whole wall, natural light comes in, it's a beautiful view. It's colorful, it's pleasant, it's restful. And I had said, well, you know, maybe I'll go in the office, but that, that room just has two windows that are not particularly, uh, you know, they're not, it's not a sunny room. No. And, and it just makes all the difference. Sometimes I have to adjust the uh, blinds if I'm on a Zoom call because the glare from the Yeah, outside. and you open the doors when it gets cooler. There's uh -huh. lots of uh, benefit yeah, to it. The, the big thing I found is a big open space there. Uh -huh. You have a little bit more freedom, less stress. Oh, you don't feel like the walls are closing yeah. in on you. Yeah, and, and they talk about the exposure to natural light that helps produce vitamin D, serotonin, melatonin to help you sleep, and can even increase productivity. So the one thing you want to do is balance glare with light. 
Well, the other thing, too, is the LED lights. Uh -huh. LED lights are great because they produce a nice white light, which is a kind of a blue haze to it that you really don't see. But LED lights are not really good for but they relaxing. Keep you awake. They keep you awake. Uh -huh. So I use them on the outside of our house, but uh -huh. inside I have all the old bulbs, which you can still find, thank goodness. Yeah. Uh, and there are some of these smart ones uh, from like Philips, the Hue line, uh, which uh -huh. you can kind of manipulate the light, which seems to be a little bit better. Well, they also say at least warm and white if you can't uh, find an, the fancier ones or if you don't want to. Yeah. Um, keep the walls muted and bright. Paint. Yeah. And this really takes place now. You have to really, uh, you know, we're going to be de redecorating. De so let's talk about that when we get back uh -huh. uh, off the break. I'd like to remind you folks, uh, Pick up the primal edge. It's important. We'll be right back. You've heard Nico DeHaan as co-host of Living a Primal Lifestyle, which airs every Friday at noon Eastern time on TFNN, and would like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418-8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com. Let him know you heard him on TFNN and save up to $100 on a special package just for TFNN listeners. Act today. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Welcome back to the show. Uh, talking about being stressed out here, 10 science-backed design tips to bring your home back. So we're really talking about doing a little redecorating maybe to get a little more comfortable in your space because now you're spending time at home so much. Yeah, and we were talking about painting and, mm -hmm. and uh, the key is, you know, don't put red paint in your bedroom. Those <laughs> hot colors, seriously, those hot colors are stimulating and not mm -hmm. relaxing. Yeah. 
And, uh, you know, if you want, if you really love hot colors, then use them as pillows and pops of color. Yeah, accents, I would say. Yeah, and they also say, this was interesting, glossy paint is more stimulating than flat paint. Sure. Which is kind of, I never thought about that. Yeah, and, it's, well, it's, uh, and the, f the flat paint is harder to clean, too. This is why we use the glossy in the bathrooms or semi-gloss. And then the flat paint uh, we use it on our walls because yeah. it's nice. Uh, it kind of just flows in. Uh, they talk about, uh, you know, keeping your walls muted, bright, but, uh, uh, you know, it's a, it's a good chance just to get to uh, kind of redecorate at least the room that you're going to be spending the most time in, I think. And it's a fairly inexpensive way to do it, you know, it's not a massive renovation of your right. house kind of thing. You so. just have to move all the stuff around. <laughs> that's the pain right there. Uh, they also uh, say embrace curves. Many environmental psychology experts say that sharp and red angles are more stimulating to the uh, brain than the round uh, and, and ovals. That's interesting. Uh, the shape, the ovals and the rounds are more the natural shapes that are... That are in nature. Uh, yeah, nature and... and of of humanity, of faces, and of babies, and of, you know, all those things around. Yeah, it's an interesting quote here, a room that's entirely rectangular, uh, it's like a horror movie. <laughs> it's too stimulating. Yeah. Entirely rectilinear, and it's too, that it creates too much psychological activity around you. Mm -hmm. that, that's just fascinating yeah. to me. You can also use uh, scent and sound. Studies have shown that lavender is common. We always use that. But environmental uh, physi uh, psychologists uh, also recommend finding accents you personally respond to. Yeah, you know, we, we use, uh, when, we, when we go to sleep, we burn a little uh, patchouli incense. Mm -hmm. For us, that's our favorite. Mm -hmm. Although we do occasionally use sandalwood or fra frankincense. Um, mostly it's the patchouli and for me it takes me back to the 70s and you know psychologically it's just very soothing to me yeah. and it helps uh, it just it and it, we also use that like uh, if you've been cooking and you want to get some cooking smells out of the house or mm -hmm. whatever but it, everybody's got you can sniff around until you find your your signature scent and, yep. and the one that when you smell it you go ah yeah Exactly. Um, and of course, don't forget about the music, uh, especially uh -huh. now. And uh, we talked about that. And the next part is says declutter. And of course, and that's, we had talked about that. Yeah, we kind of talked about <clears throat> doing that too. Uh, next thing is enhance your outdoor space. Now, this is really important, especially if you have a little bit of outdoor space. We're lucky we have a large, large outdoors. Mm -hmm. And it's really nice to just to open those doors up and uh, look out. Well, even just to, to look out, yeah. the, you know, open the blinds up, and, uh, <coughs> the shutters, and uh, mm -hmm. look out. And and uh, if you have a li just a little balcony or a small backyard or something, you know, put something that you like to look at out there. Mm -hmm. So even if you're not going out there, at least you can look out and and have some peace of mind and... You find yourself li literally physically relaxing. Yeah, and when we open the doors, then we have the nice sounds most of the time. Well, uh, wind odd, chimes. Yeah, and... not the uh, lawnmower from next door, but the, the yeah. you know the birds are chirping and things like that. So yeah. that's good. The so bring, Yeah, and so that's <laughs> that's kind of what they say here: bring nature in, mm -hmm. in instead of using like some purifiers and things like that. Bring some plants into the house. Get some natural aromas going. And then the last thing they mention here, rock it out for people who really need to distress, you know, get a rocking chair. Yeah, I have always, <coughs> I've had a rocking chair for... Yes, you have. For so many years, I don't even know, 40 years, 50 years, I don't know. And I always wanted a rocking chair. I got a Bentwood rocker at some point when I was in grad school, and, and uh, I've been carrying it around with me ever since. And I don't sit in it enough, but we do have also got a swing out on the porch, a... Uh, a two-seat, you know, kind of thing. Ooh, to, kind of like a slide oh, back and forth. Slide, yeah, yeah, it's almost a rocking, but not quite. Yeah, and uh, and it, my my office chair, I can rock in a little yeah. too. Uh, and they're not talking about rock and roll in this case. No. Uh, <laughs> and here it says, uh, consider a pet. And this is, uh, especially if you're alone, this might be a good way to have a little company. And, of course, pets uh, naturally can sense when we're under stress. And they, can, they help to de-stress you. They definitely do. Well, and, and these days, when you're, when you're stuck with your work at the desk or whatever, the, just get walking a pet. Or getting up and uh, interacting with the pet, 
uh, going outside with the pet. Um, if you're by well, yourself, that's particularly... Well, there comes the exercise in when you go outside with sure, the pet. So that's sure. a natural thing that sure. kind of forces you to do it. And also, if you're alone, you know, having a pet helps you have someone to take care of and to talk to and you know it's right. a, so you don't feel quite so lonely and and isolated that's the key yeah. you know yeah. tough time days. to be alone i think at the, at, during yeah, these it times is. it is and it's uh and, and it can be a tough time to be with your spouse and family too because the other side of that coin is your home working your spouse is home working or your significant other your, if you have children, your children are online on, on school, and there are so many distractions, so much pressure, and your boss expects that the work gets done regardless. Uh, when I was on this conference, there was a lot of conversation about COVID and adapting to the work product and the work uh, ethic to working from home. And mm -hmm. one person said, well, she does her work at 10 o'clock at night, and I'm thinking, well, that's not very healthy. Well, it depends. So some people are, I mean, I had a pal, uh, Michael Patrick, uh, who uh, lives in Lake Worth, and for years we hung around together, and his most productive time was always uh, after midnight, well, and he would yeah. go to bed four in the morning, uh, and that worked for him. It, uh, and I, I think as, as kids, too, I remember I love to stay up late. Now I go to bed <laughs> like nine o'clock, I'm already asleep, m yeah. mostly, well, so but, it's changed. What I'm talking about is when you've got, had a full day, yeah. And you have children, and you have someone else in the house. You're cooking meals, you're helping out, you're cleaning, you're doing whatever, and you're helping your kids to then sit down and try and do work yeah, at tough. ten o'clock at night. Is it, it's exhausting, yeah. and you know you you need you need your downtime is just as important as your product your production time. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the kids being home as well as you being home uh, that changes everything. Yeah, it does. Yeah, we're fortunate. We don't have little kids at home. And, nope. And, uh, but we have ourselves at home, and we still have plenty of things to be distracted with. And, you got this kid with you. Yeah. You know, sometimes so, you get caught up in your yeah. some, some unimportant thing that you're watching on YouTube. I can't talk to you because you're, you're, you can't only focus on one thing at a time, and, mm -hmm. and it's, uh, it's a little stressful. Yeah. But, uh, well, uh, there's uh, ways of getting around that. So when we get back, we're going to talk about exercising the brain. Oh, yeah. Okay, so stick <laughs> around, folks. I'd like to remind you of our primal edge. Please pick this up. You know, we had a huge price increase in this. We didn't raise the retail price. But uh, take advantage of this now. I don't think we're going to raise it, but uh, it's a real bargain right now because uh, all the other things have gone up. So get that. We'll be right back. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The U.S. deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once in a generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar is worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar. Silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. 
The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. So we're here time out talking about how we fix our brain, how to let our brain uh, de-stress in a sense, and how how does this brain thing really work? And, well, and also keep on growing and increasing our brain power. Yeah, and it's called neuroplasticity. And in a nutshell, a nutshell, neuroplasticity is the brain's ability to learn and adapt. Until re relatively recently, experts believed that our brains were fixed by the end of adolescence and that in terms of neurons, it was all downhill from there. Yeah, but, but they're saying now that their research has shown that it's the opposite. Brains yeah. can actually grow and change throughout adulthood if we treat our neural pathways right. And, and I was really excited. You know, over the years, one minute they're saying, you know, do puzzles and do all these things and stimulate your brain and... And it will, and you'll have a much better chance of having a, a uh, an old age in which you are actually growing older with all your faculties. Then they say, ah, puzzles don't do anything, and and don't, you know. But I didn't believe them. I kept on doing all my puzzles. You do your puzzles every morning religiously, and I, I think it reorganizes your brain. I think it's very wakes very me healthy. Up. It wakes you up, and we all have our little methods that we use. Even the breathing exercises that I do, uh -huh. I believe, does this because uh, of the process of going through that. <clears throat> the main point of uh, neuroplasticity is that you can actually l form and recognize connections in your brain. And for a long time, we thought that humans were born with tons of neurons and all these connections. And as we get older, they simply die off. But now we've learned that this isn't really true. We can actually make changes to further and develop our brains. We can learn and we can actually re rewire our brains. Important thing to understand is that uh, just because we're getting older and now we're both in our 70s, that it still can get better and better. Yeah, absolutely. And there's nine <laughs> techniques in here that are interesting ways to rewire your cognitive pathways. And, you know, number one, feed your brain. Now, we talk all the time about the importance of diet and what you put into your body and how it impacts on your physical and mental and emotional and psychological stress. Uh, well-being. Yes. And uh, so it, it talks here. It says your, your body, your brain takes up a tiny portion of your body weight, but it uses a quarter of everything you eat. Well, that was pretty that's interesting. That's how much energy it takes. Well, and that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. you know, and it says, you know, vitamin D and magnesium <clears throat> are top priorities yeah. if you want to promote neuroplasticity. Vitamin D3, we've talked about this and talked about this, and it is so important especially now, helps you build your immune system. It helps you uh, stay healthy in these yeah. stressful times. Yeah. They do also mention number two is that obviously a good night's sleep is good, uh, between seven and nine hours for most people. But 
it doesn't hurt to go and take a little 20 minute nap if you need it. If you need it, sure. Yeah. And sure. during these stressful times, uh, if you're overstressed, this is a good time to do that. If you can, you know, find a way to do this. If yeah, you're overstressed, you maybe mm -hmm. it might, might be hard. Uh, now it says a short nap encourages the growth of, growth of the dendritic spines, which act as crucial connectors between the neurons in your brain. So that's interesting. Just 20 minutes of just a quick nap. Yeah, and the next one is talking about that uh, you got to stop sometimes. Don't, uh, here, i got to well, you, know, you know, the most important thing here, this <coughs> is number three, don't let the work day linger. If you're working from home, one of the biggest dangers is that your life bleeds between your regular life and your work life, and you don't stop at 5 o'clock or 4.30 or yeah. whatever, and you don't shift gears, which we used to you climb in the car, drive home, you shift gears to get home put things behind you. So it's important to have that same closing of the day. And this is interesting because they talk about not only do you want to put a closing on the day, on your work day, mm -hmm. but you want to do it in a positive manner. So focus on what you achieved that day. If you're working with a team, if you're working with others, then get together as a group at the very end of the day and talk about, you know, well, th thank you for doing such a good job on this. You know, recognize gratitude and, sure. and uh, the, all of that. Make your team feel valued. Make the other people you work with feel valued. Also, I would say that uh, you need to prioritize things so you, the important things uh, are done. Yeah, but it's hard to do that. It's really hard. People have a lot of trouble with that. And it's like, well, well I'll do these quick little things. These things are only going to take me five minutes. And but you they put may off. not be important. They might be urgent. Well, yeah, and sometimes they are. And so then, but then the big project that's going to take your focus and time doesn't get done because you've... And this is where the list comes in, you yeah. know, prioritizing. This I mm -hmm. have to get done. These things maybe not. So let's focus mm -hmm. on, you know, and that's the way I've always worked. Get your Franklin planner out and yeah. make some notes. <laughs> Honey, most of the people don't know what a Franklin planner Maybe. is. <laughs> oh, I think they'll like But, you know, do. the idea is, yeah, the idea is, what do I have to do? What schedule do I need to do it on? When's it due? How much time do I need to do it? And what time of the day am I in the best shape to do that project? You know, am I more alert in the morning than I am in the afternoon? Yeah, yeah. Some people are afternoon people. Some people are evening people. Some people are morning people. Just know yourself. Yeah. And that's important. Number four is expand your vocabulary, and of course you're doing your puzzles and things like that, crossword puzzles, this is what mm -hmm. expands your uh, vocabulary, so those are important. But it's a, but interesting, it says if you learn one new word a day, it sparks a multitude of new path, neural pathways, visual and auditory. How about that? Just one word. Use the wrong hand is number five. Yeah. Non-dominant hand exercises are excellent for forming those new pathways. It's well as strengthening the connection between these things. neurons yeah. yeah but it also says that just you know how do you do that the wrong hand being your non-dominant hand you know so you say well try brushing your teeth with your left hand yeah that's a fun exercise <laughs> <laughs> You can also brush your face. <laughs> yeah, you, and then you'll probably end up doing that. That's yeah. Clean uh, your this, glasses. <laughs> well, I like number six, learn to juggle, because this is something that uh, I've tried, and it's not that easy, but <laughs> once you get the hang of it, and it's, uh, it's a very intense, but when you accomplish just a couple of throws that way, that's a big accomplishment. And you can juggle two as well, as, you well know, sure. until you learn how to or do one, it. You know, or with. one, right. right. <laughs> play chess. That's a good one. I know a lot of people play chess. I used to play with my dad years ago. I really haven't played for 40 years, so it'd be... Uh, but they're just know. saying you don't even need another player. You know, you can kind of... Just the act of thinking about the moves mm -hmm. and uh, even for a few minutes uh, logging into a chess game on the computer, you know, things like that. It just, you don't even need, you don't need to do anything. It's just a couple of minutes of, of focusing on that game or any kind of game puzzle or whatever that you like to do yeah. it will, will then give you a neurological boost. And then the number eight is... Uh, do mnemonic drills. And, you know, I, one of the things that we did, that I did on the call, on the Zoom call for the conference was I wrote a limerick. Uh, yeah. There's a one of the attorneys has been doing limericks for a couple of years as part of his presentation, and now other people are trying their hands at it. And I ended up doing a limerick, and it's just a matter of creating creating something that rhymes or something that's uh, 
that a uh, formula rhyme it says here increases it enhances connectivity in your prefrontal parietal network paving the way to new positive pathways in your brain and and the people on the call were you know reading going oh that's a good one and you know but they read it and that helped them because sure. of the rhyme sure okay stick around we got some more we'll be right back Back in the day, I joined Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by, Bam! as well as... Whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us. And Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that will take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the Newsletter tab. Hey folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! TFNN has developed a daily programming lineup for traders by traders. We start every trading day live at 8.30 a.m. with Tommy O'Brien hosting the Morning Market Kickoff as he starts the day off by breaking down everything you need to know about what's going on for the trading day ahead. At 9 a.m., Larry Pesavento takes your calls and questions live on the air for the opening bell as he hosts Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom and Tommy O'Brien host the Bull Bear Trading Hour. At 11 a.m., it's Kevin Hanks and Alex Coffey from TD Ameritrade trade network with fast market basil chapman at noon with the tiger technicians hour steve rhodes hosts the trader's edge at 1 p.m dave white with a power trading hour at 2 p.m and tom o'brien closes out the day for the final hour of trading live from three till four don't miss a second of our daily programming lineup tune in to tiger tv every trading day live at tfnn.com educating investors Rounding out today's show, we were going to talk just a few minutes about what's going to happen in 2021 and, and in the future regarding the office, big yeah, due, due to the work at home programs and so on. Yeah, and, number one says here traditional office isn't going to disappear anytime soon. It's not, right. Mm -hmm. People want to work it from home. There's still going to be people working from home. There's still going to be people who work from home a couple of days a week, work at the office a couple of days a week. There may be be shifts that are changed off and teams that work at certain days um health and safety you still have to think about so that's there will be adjustments made for that yeah investment in voice voice assistant technology will rise making con contact less operations so we're going to get a lot of apps and things like that we can use to make things a little easier it says your companies will equip employees with new tools to make the better use of the office space the other thing that's interesting about the office space is the whole concept of the out of office office mm -hmm. we had talked briefly a, a couple shows ago about about hotels that are converting suites into to go someplace to go during the day right to do your you know your um 
uh, work with so that you're not at home. Yeah. And uh, they're also talking about the open concept in a lot of places that, that already existed where you could go and work with your team in a, with a little more space. Yep. A lot of businesses will repurpose office space uh, as on-site child care and maybe educational facilities. Yeah, because if your employees are going to have to home to do the the remote learning with their kids, you know, having even having a room where you can put all the kids in it and socially distance with computers. So this could change the whole education system too because of that. And having an, an adult who can supervise and assist, mm -hmm. you know, a trained person who's yeah. an educator. Well, I've always said our ancestors always educated the kids themselves. And I think it's an important thing. It's, uh, it's, I don't think it's a, I mean, the state wants to do it because they want that state. Indoctrination. Indoctrination, mm -hmm. but we want our type of education so we can survive. That's uh, not the state's... Uh, well, you know, look... The we, state we, is not as interested in us as the state is interested <laughs> in itself, is what I'm saying. That's all well, we let's got. Not, you know, let's focus on learning yep. and stimulate your brain and be the best person you can be. You got do, it. Do yourself a favor. Be kind to yourself. Be safe, everyone. Bye-bye. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I'll personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update.
Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish up 229, NASDAQ up 332, S&P's up 57. So you had a nice counter trend bounce out here, folks. Uh, you did have a contraction of volume. We had the uh, NASDAQ composite go up 2.5 percent, S&P's 1.7, and the Dow Industrials uh, 7 tenths of 1 percent. I do expect uh, we're going to get some follow through and it's going to try to get up into the highs of last week. Gold. Gold contract caught a bid up $13.1860 an ounce. Silver caught the big bid. Silver uh, closed out up $2.10, $29.03. Uh, hey, listen, oil right behind it, man. Oil caught a bid also up a buck forty-four, fifty-three $53.64 a barrel. Notes and bonds. We had the 10 year up seven ticks, one thirty-seven oh eight. The 30 year up 15 at one sixty-nine oh six. Now, all of these were running, folks. And the dollar actually caught a, a very large bid. It was up almost a half a penny, up 469 ticks, 91.053. Now, the dollar has been trying to uh, get topside, folks, for almost uh, two full months. Uh, it did break out of this consolidation it's in. So that's saying that the dollar can go to 92 to 92.50. Uh, that would be quite a move. And that's where this is going to get interesting um, in the market itself. Uh, as well as, of course, with the metals market. It didn't hurt the metals market out here today. Uh, that's because uh, the metals market's getting a lot of press, uh, the silver market in particular. Uh, but the more press that uh, the metals market gets, folks, the higher this thing uh, will go. You had the uh, euro trade at 120, the yen at 104.95, and the British pound at 136. If we do go over and we take a look at the uh, S&P, what you're going to see here, you saw, you saw the contraction of volume. Uh, we did 68 million shares out here. Uh, you had come down with 126 million on Friday. On last Wednesday, it come down with 123. Uh, you are going up with lighter volume, and I expect that that's what's going to, you'll probably see another contraction tomorrow, but I do expect we are going to see higher price. We're in winter dressing. You got a slew of earnings that are coming out. Uh, Amazon, I believe, is kicking it off tomorrow. Yeah. Aftermarket tomorrow is Amazon. We have Google out there, uh, Google uh, Aftermarket tomorrow night, too. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit us tomorrow morning, uh, 8.30. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks!
Larry Pezzavento watches the markets 24-7, and now is a great time to try out his daily trading service, Fibonacci 24-7. Larry publishes videos and charts for subscribers throughout the week when warranted, and every weekend he puts out a thorough report covering worldwide markets, futures, commodities, and currencies with Fibonacci retracement levels, possible trading setups and zones, and stops and targets for all recommendations included. Larry applies the principles he's developed developed over decades of trading while analyzing a variety of markets for subscribers. To see for yourself the types of videos, charts, and analysis that Larry provides for his subscribers, sign up for Fibonacci 24-7 today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. You'll also gain instant access to Larry's archived subscriber webinar from earlier this year. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today.